let me move on to the di question so friends if you are preparing for any competitive exam or otherwise and placement exam my advice start with this basic data interpretation question that is this video why because this pie chart and this table chart is a basic data interpretation question friends you need to know how to solve these types of question then you can go for and toughest level and also a cat level question so that you can solve all the question easier so my advice to learn the basic charts properly so friends let me move on to this data interpretation question so they have given a pie chart and also they have given a table chart right okay in the pie chart friends there are administration accountant hr and there they have given percentage of employees in various departments and total number of employees are 2500 so friends totally there are 2500 employees so out of this 2500 employees they are categorized into various departments that is printing administration marketing it hr right and all the values are given in a percentage so friends here they have given a table chart that is male is to female ratio so friends similarly out of this various departments there are male and female ratio is given so administration male is 7 and female is 5 so 7 is to 5 ratio that is male and female okay friends let me move on to the various question depending upon this chart question number one what is the ratio of male employees in the administration to those in printing department so friends we need to find the ratio that is for male employees in the administration to the male employees in the printing department so we need to find the ratio so friends there are many different methods to solve these types of question because it is a basic level question right so friends my advice if you need to solve a question faster don't calculate separately male employees administration then male employees in printing then don't go for the ratio right so right in a single step that might help you to solve all the questions faster first of all we need to find a male employees in administration friends listen carefully our target to find a male employees in administration right okay we need to find the ratio for this and also for the male employees in printing department okay so friends listen carefully there are we know that there are totally 2500 employees right so friends out of this 2500 employees we know that administration is 12 percentage so out of this 2500 12 percentage are working in administration department so i can say that out of this 2000 12 percentage are working in an administration right so 12 percentage of employees are working in administration so friends we need to calculate specifically that is male Friends here, administration male are 7 parts. So 7 divided by total 12 parts. So I can say that the male are in a ratio 7 divided by the total part that is 12. Right. So is 2. Next part friends, male employees that is in printing department. Similarly, out of 2500 employees, how many were printing friends? Printing are 6 percentage. So out of this 2000, 2500 employees, 6 percentage of employees are printing so out of this six percentage what about male and female ratio friends here male and female ratio are two is to one so i can say that two will be the male divided by the total ratio that is three because two plus one will be three so friends listen carefully we can cancel 2500 and we can cancel 2500 similarly we can cancel this percentage and also we can cancel this percentage so finally we have seven divided by 12 here into 12 friends so similarly here it is 2 divided by 3 into 6 so friends we can easily cancel 12 and 12 so similarly we can cancel 1 3s are 3 2 3s are 6 so finally we got the ratio 7 is to 4 so friends this question will be so easy if you properly follow the method right don't calculate separately the male working in administration and male working in the printing department and then some students will use to calculate the ratio don't do that right just write in the single step so that we can easily cancel all the values so finally we got the ratio that is 7 is to 4 question number two what is the ratio of total number of males in HR and marketing to the total number of females in the two department? So friends, our target to find the ratio that is for total number of males in HR and marketing to the ratio of number of females in the same department. So friends, my advice, don't calculate the number of males HR separately. 
don't calculate number of males are marketing separately and all the values separately and finally some of the students will try to calculate the ratio don't do that method in your exam because if you follow the normal procedure for these kinds of question it will takes you nearly two and a half minute so friends always remember that write all the values in a single step so that you can easily cancel all the values friends listen here first of all our target to find total number of males in hr and marketing right so friends target is male that is hr and marketing friends listen here out of 2500 employees right so out of this 2500 employees how many are there in hr friends hr is 16 percentage right so friends listen carefully in order to understand you clearly i'm just writing these steps right in your exams kindly don't write this step you can directly proceed the next step right okay so out of this 2500 employees where 16 percentage are hr our target to find the male person so hr male is 5 ratio so 5 divided by total ratio that is 5 plus 3 will be 8 so friends got the logic right so this is the number of male employees who are in hr department similarly friends next target we need to find number of male employees in marketing so friends listen carefully out of this 2500 where marketing were 15 percentage so out of this 2500 so this marketing will be 15 percentage friends out of this 15 percentage we need to find how many male are there in a marketing department so marketing department male and female are in ratio 7 is to 8 so we can say that 7 part is male divided by the total that is 15 so finally we have now calculate the total number of males in hr and marketing so we need to find the ratio for the females right so females in the same department so friends again 1000 2500 employees where hr is 16 percentage so friends hr will be 16 percentage so out of the 16 percentage we need to find how many females are working so hr where female in a ratio that is 3 so 3 divided by total ratio that is 8 friends got the logic out of 2500 where hr is 16 percentage out of the 16 percentage where females are in ratio 3 so 3 divided by total ratio that is 8 Similarly, we need to find for the marketing. So out of this 2500 employees, marketing will be 15 percentage. So out of this 15 percentage, marketing female are in a ratio that is 8. The total ratio will be 15. So friends, we need to find this value and also we need to find this value and we need to find the ratio. Friends, listen here. In all the values where we can find 2500, 2500. So we can directly cancel all the 2500. Step number one. Step number two in all this value we can find a percentage so we can cancel percentage 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 and percentage right friends try to cancel any other values or otherwise after writing all the remaining numbers so that we can easily cancel all the values friends listen carefully here it is 15 and here it is 15 we can cancel 15 and 15 here it is 8 and here it is 16 we can cancel this on two times so friends similarly here it is 1 8 are 8 8 2 are 16 similarly we can cancel 15 and 15 so the remaining values are 5 into 2 that will be 10 plus 7 i think we can cancel all the values the remaining will be 7 so ratio next is 3 into 2 will be 6 plus friends here only 8 is remaining so 8 so we can say that 10 plus 7 will be 17 8 plus 6 will be 14 so finally we got the ratio that is 17 is to 14 whether it is easy or not friends some students will make a mistake that they used to find this value separately then this value separately finally they used to add this this will take you one minute this will take you one minute then after cancelling it will nearly take you three minutes so the better thing follow these kinds of method to solve all the different kinds of data interpretation that is based on this topic so that we can easily get a ratio for all those questions question number three what is the difference between the total number of employees in IT and that in operation department so friends our target to find what is the difference between total number of employees in it to the total number of employees in the operation department so friends remember that write all the values in a single step right so friends our target to find what is the total number of employees in it so out of this 2500 you know the difference is called as a that is a subtraction right simply if you need to know this difference is called as a subtraction right so out of this 2500 we need to see how many percentage of people are working in it so friends it that is 14 percentage so we can write this as 14 percentage of this 2500 employees are working in it so for this we need to find the difference for total number of people who are working in operation department so similarly out of this 2500 
where operation that is 18 percentage of the employees are working so friends 14 percentage of 2500 difference 18 percentage of 2500 remember friends in the previous case we need to find the ratio for question number one and question number two we can easily cancel all the 2500 2500 and we can cancel all the percentage but here we need to find the difference so don't cancel the value year 2500 year 2500 so we can just take 2500 as a common right in both the cases we have a 2500 so we can take 2500 as a common in both the cases we have a percentage common we know that percentage in order to remove the percentage divided by 100 so we can say that divided by 100 so the remaining values are 14 minus and the year the remaining values are 18 so friends got the logic in both the cases 2500 is common in both the cases where percentage is common we know that in order to remove the percentage divided by 100 so in both the cases divided by 100 so i divided by 100 as a common and remaining will be 14 and remaining will be 18 so friends we need to find the difference 14 difference 18 will be 4 so i can write this as a 4 and we can cancel 2020 0, 0, so finally we got 25 so 25 into 4 will be 100 so finally we got the difference for the given data that is 100 so the different employees will be 100 number of employees is the difference between the total number of employees in it to the total number of employees that who are working in operation department so friends it is a simple question right in case some of the question if you go for any difficult PO level exams then it will be 14.01 percentage 18.93 percentage so in those cases kindly apply the same logic in both the side we can see 2500 common similarly if they give 14 lakh if they give 700 crores out of 700 crores where 14 percentage of the employees are working so similarly just take all the values common then find what is the difference between the remaining numbers so that we can easily calculate what is the difference Thank you so much for watching this video and uh, don't forget to solve this fourth question and fifth question on your own. Just take one minute and try to solve this fourth question and fifth question. So the fourth question answer is 150 and the fifth question answer is 25. So try to solve this two question. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.